tragedy Crying as the mailman flies away from me Ooh, what can I do? Ooh, what can I say? Won't you tell me there's a letter from my baby today? If she took the time to drop me a line It'll be the only thing to stop me going out of my mind Blue skies and blue, blue music I'm waiting for a letter to tell you I can really use it I'm too far from home, as lonely as stone I want a crazy time to come Flag. 
splash, honey, drippy cat. Well now, the world of pop music is currently going through one of its nostalgic periods and the sounds of the 50s and 60s are finding a new lease of life. Three Midland brothers from Northampton, Bob, Ray and Tony Cotton, collectively known as Jets, are among the new bands that are finding inspiration from the music of the 50s. They've been talking with Alan Hydes. For the Midland band, The Jets, things are looking pretty good. Their last single, Yes Tonight, Josephine, a revamped song which Johnny Ray released in 1957, rocketed into the charts in the autumn of last year and made it to the number 25 position. The success of this record and their tour with Shaking Stevens established The Jets as a major new force in the rock business. So they're now poised to hit the heights of rock stardom. And they're hoping that their new single, Love Makes the World Go Round, will be the vehicle to take them there, jet propelled. Well, the thing that fascinates me about you is that you're, you're playing 50s music and yet none of you were even born in the 50s, so why are you so influenced by that period? Um, I think, for, well, it's got to be because of the music. I mean, the music, 50s music has gone through 50s, 60s, 70s and now 80s. You're still getting that type of joy, type, rock and roll type of thing coming in. And I think all the stars, throughout, especially in the 70s, there was this glam pop. A lot of that was basically rock and roll. Uh, and also because of the clothes. I think 50s clothes, are, especially this type of stuff, are pretty sort of casual anyway. You can wear them no matter where you go, whether you're playing football or whether you're going out to a dance or, or whatever, you can wear this type of clothes. How would you describe the music that you're playing at the moment, then? Um, basically rock and roll, obviously. It's got to be rock and roll, but we've got influences in rockabilly because we're a three-piece, and being a three-piece, you've got to have your drums, your guitar, and a lot, a lot of vocal harmonies, so we've got rock and roll, doo-wop, and also rockabilly coming in, all mingling in, uh, forming air sound, really. Ray, when, when did you actually start in the business? I mean, how did it all begin? Well, basically, how it first started was um, about seven years ago, and uh, we used to be in what they called the Boys Brigade. It's like a church type thing. And um, there was like a charity, you know, the Boys Brigade concert where they, they all put, everybody has to contribute something. And uh, we said, oh, let's do this rock and roll thing. You know, so we got up there with a couple of acoustic guitars and strummed away and sung. We only knew about six, six other standard songs. We went down really well, and from then on, you know, we just kept on. Now, who's the youngest amongst the, the band? Tony's the youngest. Tony. And how old are you, yeah. Tony? Uh, um, 16. 16, 17, this year sometimes. So how long have you been playing with them? Uh, about three and a half years now, nearly four years. What's the title of your new record? Uh, the latest one is Love Makes the World Go Round. Great, well, let's listen to it now. This is fun, isn't it? Well, that's all from us for tonight. We're all throwing months in the air. Let's leave you with Love Makes the World Go Round. Bye-bye. Love Makes the World Go Round Your pulse will beat and your heart will pound Cause love makes the world go round I made a little guy that a ball feet small Just can't be 